Let's take our next question. That is question number 10. The question you see belongs to chapter oscillations. In here, the displacement of particle executing simple harmonic motion is given by y equals to a naught plus a sin omega t plus b cos omega t. Now, we have to find the amplitude of this oscillation. So, let's start with the solution. y equals to a naught plus a sin of omega t plus b cos of omega t. Here since this is the initial position the equation of wave will be properly represented as this right. Now the two components this is the two components they are perpendicular to each other. So between these two waves what is the phase difference definitely phi between these two components would be 90 degree. So the resultant amplitude would be under root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos of 90 right and this will result into under root of a square plus b square this is the resultant amplitude. Let's see which is the best suited option among the four. Yes, option number two is the right answer. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 11. The question you see belongs to chapter of optics. Here two similar thin equiconvex lenses of focal length f each are kept coaxially in contact with each other such that the combination is having a focal length capital F1. When the space between the two lenses is filled with glycerin which is having the same refractive index as that of glass that is 1.5 then the equivalent focal length is f2. We have to find the ratio of f1 and f2. Pretty simple question just stick to the basic part. So if you take the example let's take these as the lenses we are talking about focal length of both is small f and the combination is giving a focal length of capital F1. So I will write 1 upon F1 that is equals to 1 upon F plus 1 upon F that makes it 2 upon F right or I will write F1 is equals to F by 2 this is the first observation. Now in the second case the space between these two lenses you see the space between these two lenses is filled with some liquid. Now in this case the focal length becomes f2. So for this I will be writing 1 upon f2 is equals to 1 upon f plus 1 upon f. Now the, the glycerin part will act as a concave lens. Having same radius of curvature this part will have the focal length of minus f as the radius of curvature is same and refractive index is same only the curvature is in opposite direction. So this will be minus f. So I will be writing it as like this. I am left with f that means f2 is equals to f this is the second observation. So this is first this is second we have to find the ratio of f1 and f2 simply it is f1 by f2 would be equals to 1 by 2. Let's see which is the best suited option. So among the four options yes option number two would be the right answer. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 12. Now the question you see belongs to chapter kinetic theory of gases. As per the question increase in temperature of a gas filled in container would lead to. So this being a container you are very well aware in the case of ideal gas if you increase the temperature the kinetic energy of the molecules will increase. So among the four options option number two would be the right answer to this question. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 13.